Oh, my dear viewers, welcome to this reading for all Cancerians for October 2023. I hope you'll enjoy this reading. This is a general reading about everything that you need to know and to be aware of and to understand why certain things are happening and what is coming for October onwards. All Cancerians, welcome. Everybody welcome, all my dear viewers. Let's have a look at what is happening for all Cancerians in October, starting with the first one. And there it is. Okay, so we've got the elements. The elements are all about the earth, the water, the energies of the world, uh, the fire, air, earth, and water, creating a very powerful protection for you. So the universe, the earth, your guardian angels are going to be protecting you on a large scale. And the reason they're doing that is because of the changes that are taking place. A lot of changes are going to take place and... To prepare you for that, you are going to be needing a lot of protection and a lot of care. And you're getting exactly that. So that is wonderful to know. Let's see the main message from the Sacred Forest for all Cancerians for October. And there's a new beginning. A wonderful new beginning. The daffodils, which are beautiful, they come out usually in the springtime. Um, I feel like something incredible is going to happen around the spring. Or we'll just say a new beginning. It depends where you are and which part of the world. A new beginning is destined and imminent. And it's going to bring you a lot of happiness. And it's going to end a chapter that's been quite overwhelming. Is coming to an end with this new beginning. Let's see four major impacts for all Cancerians. Starting with the first one. And it's the moon. The moon. What a perfect major arcana that shows you'll finally see the truth you'll finally be aware and have the perfect clarity of your future and where you're heading you get to understand your eyes are open you get to know exactly where you're at the light of the moon shows your path and you know what is coming and there's no more darkness and uncertainty because you are going to be very clear knowing who you are and what you want out of life you are empowered big time with the strength card. Two major arcana showing big impacts of uh, major arcana strength here, giving you the power to overcome any obstacle and to conquer all. Nothing stands in your way. The next one, we have the page of swords, which shows someone is going to be very truthful, very direct and to the point, And you need to really listen to the way this person is directing you because they're very blunt, very straightforward. They might be a little bit harsh, but they are always to the point. So take advice, listen to them. Uh, this person could have air energy in them, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. The next one is a new beginning that's going to bring you an igniting passion for some, starting a new love life. For others, a new project that's going to bring you abundance, happiness, expansion, and so much more with the um, Ace of Wands. What you don't see happening and coming, there is someone that is going to help you, uplift you to the next level, especially support you when you are leaving a situation, sadly. Leaving somebody behind, sadly. Um, somebody is going to be uplifting and supporting you. Let's have a look at three other cards, three major impacts, three other major impacts for you my dear cancer three for october and we have good news are coming great news clarity and truth are going to help you move forward you'll have the green light to go ahead because everything will be clear everything will be ready to go and whatever was not working well is going to be working well it's amazing how it's sitting with the moon clarity seeing your path knowing where you're heading and what your future is the next one is celebrations you are going to be celebrating something wonderful i feel like a great celebration at the end of a situation the beginning of something spectacular but certainly it is going to be worth celebrating and finally we have the Empress, which is all about abundance that you are destined for, a nurturing power that's taking care of you, not only protecting you, but um, preparing you for a new beginning and, and will fill you with abundance, abundance to the highest level in every area of your life.
so that is amazing too i'll just put that one there okay what you don't see happening coming a chapter of your life that was overwhelming is coming to an absolute end you are going to be empowered big time and given power and control over your life and your journey there's a little bit left maybe one challenge and this is going to be over you are going to be given an offer that you can't refuse or be very much empowered in your position in life and having everything um, what you want the way you want it so this is what you don't see coming and happening i'll just leave these ones at the bottom here okay i'll just put them up lift them there okay so now we go to um all right there are two more cards from the yin and yang deck oh oh my goodness wow one Cancer October, and that's the second one. Hmm. Okay, I see freedom. You are setting yourself free. The universe is setting you free. You're en the end of a chapter that was overwhelming you, and you are having your freedom. This is the full freedom completely and utterly, especially if you are um, a Cancer that has Gemini within you. Gemini is going through this also. A leap of faith, breaking free from something that was just too much. Um, a fast change, a new direction, and absolute freedom from all cares and worries. Um, Aquarius here, very strong air energy Aquarius. Uh, something to do with Aquarius or maybe dealing with an Aquarius or an Aquarius might have told you this. Just Aquarius is there. Illusions. Okay, Neptune might be actually freeing away from someone of water energy such as Pisces. So maybe you were um, feeling as though you were confused there is a clarity and neptune is the leader of the ruler of pisces i feel like um now you were not seeing clearly now you can and you're escaping uh, escaping some sort of fantasy some sort of addiction some sort of codependency to someone maybe uh, who was maybe water energy and now you're realizing um that you might have been wrong so the confusion is over. You can see your path clearly and you've got the go-ahead, as you can see, as we explained in this chapter here in this section. Uh, you're seeing your path clearly and you're able to move forward and leave anything that is no longer working. So seeing clearly, that's amazing. I'll just put this one up here and I'll put this freedom up here next to it. Okay, now that we've established that, let's see what else you need to know. We're going to take two cards from this deck. For all Cancerians, you're flying again, freedom and the golden wings, your guiding angels supporting you. One more, supporting you to move forward, going beyond, rising beyond money issues. Um, with the oh, sorry, just bear with me. I just caused a bit of a collapse here. Let me just fix it. As I was saying, my dear viewers, um, very important. Um, you're rising beyond money matters and reaching a level where things are taking off. Some of you are starting a business and it's taking off. There are profits, spiritual work, spiritual matters taking place, destiny intervening in your life, L questioning life's purpose and why this and why that. And at the same time, you're realizing you are on a mission and your mission is going to be one that's going to be uh, rising beyond where you are today. So the wings are really magnificent and are uh, all about profits and starting a business and a business taking off now the mask is about secret matters um, finding out situations realizing somebody could be stealing your energy somebody could be um, a thief uh, taking from your money finding out money that was stolen perhaps uh, at the same time it is about unknown and hidden matters it could be about um, situations where weren't clear to you and that's where the moon comes in and gives you the clarity that you need and you are going to be moving forward with clarity and uh, knowing so clarity is going to be there for you even in your careers you will be um, dealing with things that are hidden or unknown but ultimately you are going to reach a level where you know exactly what you want and how to move and how to proceed and that is going to be uh, the great news that's coming that is going to support you see things clearer and be very happy now let's move forward to the next level and see what else you need to know my dear cancer for October and we have trust in the magic with the white raven spirit trust in the magic 
in the magic of your guardian angels trust in everything that you are going to have peace and healing and freedom and complete a chapter that was a bit karmic so um trust in the in in the magic that of what's coming the antelope spirit is all about life speeding up and things moving so fast especially in relationships that you are going to be moving really fast okay now let's go further before i clarify the cards see what else you need to know for all cancerians for october we got one and we got two it looks to me like something has gone wrong in a relationship perhaps uh, there are there is hurtful feelings there is um being hurt and avoiding confrontations and setting boundaries and very angry there could be a third party involved here a third person probably discovering um a betrayal maybe there's attraction flirting and and hooking up going on and this could be a third party interference and you might be finding out about it and be very you are very angry or setting uh, boundaries and you're leaving and that's why you're probably leaving because uh, the truth is coming out and there's no more confusion about what you were feeling about something you are destined to be free from all this um all these matters where there, there was uh, uncertainty and unhappiness and perhaps your gut feeling was telling you something and you were fighting for it and then finally you discover the truth there was something hidden from you and, and you are discovering it ultimately because we've got the moon the moon shows whatever is hidden from you and everything becomes clear let's have a look at what else you need to know my dear cancer okay a codependent relationship coming to um it's going to be coming to some sort of resolution it looks to me like paying attention to the red flags is important then you might be closing your eyes to it to the truth but again the confusion is going to end and your eyes are going to be seeing the truth all the confusion will be over it says addictions and um, affecting your romantic life if there is addictions and there is also paying attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you to be careful you know you might be codependent on some someone and that someone might have issues or they might be having addictions so you've got to be aware of this be very weary of what's going on with these all these cautions the truth for all cancerians and there it is power power is all about um strength and power you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time so know that you can walk away from this and set yourself free when you know it's no longer working, when you know there are hidden matters, when you know that, you know, you can be free. That's the main thing, so that you know that you are able to be free. Okay, now that we've established this, let's go and have a look at, let's look at the, um, the moon and let's see what the moon is going to bring forth for all Cancerians, what truth okay so the sun will be shining and it's bringing you your destiny a lot of luck extreme luck abundance of luck wealth money happiness progress healing a lot of healing with the sun a lot of progress and a lot of truth that's going to make you move forward this is in regard to this so um destiny is going to intervene and bring forth a lot of happiness and a lot of strength to help you out of a situation and good news is coming to take you uplift you to the next level so if there is something hidden um it is coming out if there is something hidden the moon is bringing this out it's revealing a secret or something hidden or unknown to you and you're finally realizing it and you're able to set yourself free and you're setting yourself free you're you're becoming free from a lot of worry a lot of anxiety and finally freedom from cares and worries you were very caring very worried now all that is going to disappear as the moon reveals to you secrets and situations that you need to know but all this is happening because there is a certain new beginning destined for you my dear cancer so whatever you discover is going to be to your advantage even though at the time it might not be but it is um it is to actually um prepare you for a new beginning so that's very important okay now i'll just 
put this one back here now let's move forward to the next level and you are going to be empowered with a lot of strength we know already that i'll just have to put something down now as i was saying my dear viewers we are i'm gonna go through now and have a look at this good news that's coming and see what this good news is all about just bear with me okay three cards did open up but i think there are more no there's three the good news is regarding a relationship that you have had stressful sleepless nights anxiety and worry about you have to make some decisions and finally you are going to make the decision you're going to have the clarity and the truth that help you make the decision this could be again in regard to someone of water energy now remember we had um, neptune here we had pisces so this could be in regard to a pisces or someone that has pisces within them there could be water energy they might be uh, like yourself cancer scorpio or Pisces but I feel like Neptune the leader of Pisces could be about Pisces a decision is calling for you to make uh, a very important decision in regard to a partnership you've had a lot of worry about finally the truth is going to set you free and help you move forward from this situation completely and utterly and the moon is supporting this to put an end to this anxiety that you've been concerned about let's move forward towards the um, page of swords and see what the page of swords is all about page of swords shows that there is someone that's going to be supporting you to move to the next level and earth energy there also someone very caring virgo taurus or capricorn that is going to be very supportive to help you move forward you do have choices and you know that you've got choices you've just got to be very careful with the choices that you're making and also uh, money is coming in it's, which is going to give you empowerment to move forward without any problems remember you're celebrating something wonderful so let's have a look at the new beginning see we've got new beginning here we've got a new beginning there and we've got celebrations which is amazing so you are going to be empowered there is a new beginning and i feel like you are going to be rising beyond where you are today at a high level you are also going to be set free there's a lot of freedom coming your way to the highest level freedom and then um empowerment you are going to be given the power to walk away from something that no longer is working at the same time there's a lot of money coming your way which is giving you also the power to walk away something better that's happening money is coming in supporting you to move uh, ahead and celebrate some rise or promotion i also feel like empowerment or an offer that you can't refuse power and strength to have it all um to have everything you want so this is all going to be very helpful very supportive to take you to the next level now we were looking at uh the yes we're looking now at the uh, the page uh, sorry uh, the something is hidden that's coming out again we've got the uh, another clue about that so um i saw the uh, the high priestess showing something hidden from you is going to be revealed uh, the, the new beginning the ace of wands for all cancer yes there it is a rebirth you are destined for a new life a new lease on life somewhere wonderful um incredible um new beginning that brings you a lot of rewards a lot of happiness um extraordinary um rewards and compensation for what you've gone through emotional fulfillment to the highest level could be another person like yourself who's got water energy either scorpio cancer or pisces but a new beginning that is going to give you a new lease on life and a lot of happiness and a lot of abundance a lot of rewards come with judgment uh, for things that have gone wrong and you are going to be compensated what you don't see happening you are empowered at a time where you'll be sad and unhappy discontented maybe um, leaving a situation here you've got leaving a situation where you're not happy and in search of love love and more happiness it is at that time where you are going to be empowered we've got this twice uh, the emperor which means power and control over your life that's why we've got the golden wings the golden wings show that you're rising beyond any kind of situation things are moving forward there are prophets there is abundance coming in your life. There's a new beginning that brings you abundance. There is um, a lot of money that's coming in that's bringing you abundance. There could be a new job offer that will bring you abundance. But certainly three major arcana which shows major strength and control and empowerment in your life coming. 
that is going to uplift you to higher levels and i feel like this new beginning is going to be the one to do it i also feel that uh, money is going to be a very strong um important factor in regard to this increased power and control over your life so um don't forget finally there are celebrations and that's very important to know this strong empowerment uh, and control over your life and your journey and doing what you want and getting exactly where you're at is going to be uh, something really worth celebrating something wonderful to be celebrated here absolutely amazing okay now my dear viewers there was one more thing i wanted to clarify yes i do want to clarify one more thing which is um Yes, destiny is here. I didn't see that. I forgot about that part. Okay, so um, I'd like to clarify one more thing, which is um, the leaving. I just want to know about this leaving. The Eight of Cups, all Cancerians. Yes, one of your wishes is going to be granted. That's why you are able to leave. This is a chapter, one that's been a karmic one, a painful one. You're leaving it behind. It's coming to an absolute ending. And one of your wishes and dreams is going to be granted to you. That's why you're able to be leaving. And money is coming and a new someone in your life. Wow. Emotional fulfillment to the highest level. Someone of either fire energy or earth energy that's going to be very supportive and large amounts of money. So what's amazing is um, destiny is is fulfilling you in every way in regards to money it's bringing you money and also in regards to um, someone very supportive and someone new that's very supportive and this person could have two um, star signs in them which I'm gonna go through with these um, cards at the end and tell you who this person is so you can have a fair idea and also um, I feel like uh, it could be a relationship a new relationship that might be that you might be making decisions about and it's going to be a spectacular one overall you are destined for fulfillment in every way dreams and wishes being fulfilled um you've got the wish card and you've got the the nine which is both to do with wishes this is about one of your oldest wishes being granted and this is about fulfillment and your dreams all being granted um, for you so money is coming in unexpected large amounts that you don't even expect and that could be also the reason that you're moving forward extreme luck have a look at your money reading that will take you to the next level but certainly there is an ending of a chapter now my dear viewers that we've established all this let's have a look at what are the star sign combination of the person that you are going to be dealing with the most overwhelmed consumed within october what are their star sign combination and of course if there is someone new coming in uh, if they want to show us now, you know, we can find out. I'm going to take five cards to see if it's one person that you're overwhelmed with in October or if there is another person coming in the vicinity of your life. I do see fire energy, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, and I do see earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So let's have a look what destiny is doing for October for all Cancerians, the star sign combination of the person that you are overwhelmed with consumed with dealing with so we've got the first one which is mars aries that's a fire energy aries let's see who else somebody that has fire and we have the second one which is saturn capricorn the rule of capricorn that's an earth energy let's see all cancerians oh we have libra air energy libra we have Neptune, and there it is, Neptune is this one here that we were talking about before. Neptune, the rule of Pisces. Remember we said Neptune, there it is, the rule of Pisces. So this has come up, so it must be the second person that you might be. Let's see, we need one more to see what else. Star sign combination of the fortune one doubles up is the one that you are mostly going to be overwhelmed with and we've got the sun leo so we're talking about someone that has fire and water in them very strong mars and that's aries and leo and we've got pisces we've got two fire energies one water we've got earth energy and air that that shows that there might be two people um i feel like with the earth energy um it's someone new coming into your life and this new someone, I feel like this Capricorn, Saturn, the rule of Capricorn. Capricorn could be Capricorn Libra. It's possible. 
Capricorn um, Leo maybe or Capricorn Mars they could have fire within them you are maybe dealing already with someone of water energy I feel like there may be water energy on fire someone with water on fire Pisces being number one Neptune and then having Leo or Mars either way this is someone very hot very sensual extremely passionate um, where you might be having issues with you know paying attention to signs uh, third party there could be uh, jealousy matters you know um, issues with relationship being there might be cheating a third person involved you know there could be that because of the the power of the fire energy in someone could be possible uh, but i do feel like you are moving forward and moving towards earth uh someone more of earth which is capricorn i feel like there'll, there'll be someone capricorn who might have libra in them perhaps or might have aries i do feel like they, these are two people water with fire earth with air or fire so whatever happens here we're talking about someone that's very First and foremost, we have someone very calm and collective and a leadership kind of a person with uh, with Capricorn. And then we've got the the justice. If they're Capricorn with Libra, that means they would be very f fair and, 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 and very much into justice. Um, I feel like there is also a lot of um, romance in this person, a lot of... Um, earth which is something you need for foundation my dear cancer you are water energy you do you thrive when you have earth you grow and you you become very strong and um i feel like also the earth is it replenishes with you so you need each other on a very deep level i feel like this is going to be a spectacular connection uh, in regard to water energy this water energy um could be uh, very strong very strong um, someone that has Pisces in them and Pisces with fire if they've got Aries or Leo in them it could mean that they are exceptionally warm-hearted very passionate but there could be issues with um, with perhaps um, with um, what it seems to me like it seems to me that you are in the process of leaving a karmic relationship and there is a situation where there is an injustice paying attention and there is also cheating in the story hidden matters being revealed where is that other card here third party uh, situations third party situations and a lot of hurt so i'm thinking possibly this could be someone like a Libra Pisces maybe, or um, an a not an area, a Leo Pisces, someone with Leo Pisces possibly. There could be something like that going on where a relationship is coming to an end and then you are probably moving forward and perhaps at the end of October onwards you might meet this person that has Capricorn within them. Or it could be just one person that has all these signs in them and that makes them quite comfortable with um they're very very attractive they have a lot of self-confidence or they are very attractive and i feel like there is a situation where there's justice in them there is passion in them uh, they're very nurturing the leo very nurturing the aries very loyal so i feel like perhaps this person um might be someone very deep and very analytical and also very passionate and there could be a problem they they could be very attractive and people are pursuing them and that could be causing some sort of havoc and jealousy and perhaps uh, some sort of codependency i do also feel like paying attention to the signs is important there is a chance that you might be leaving a situation like this and starting something fresh and new and i feel with the new situation there could be um, a lot of earth energy with capricorn and perhaps fire that um, will give you that warmth maybe aries capricorn someone that is very much loyal very much into um in, you know independent very good looking very um very much connected to you because you are water energy my dear cancer and cancer goes exceptionally well with earth and with fire the fire gives you the warmth and it cools by you so you do work well together and then the earth gives you the ground and it replenishes by you so uh, in regard to the elements you'll be doing well in regard to support the, this person is very helpful very loving very supportive trustworthy and then you've got the fire energy someone that is very loving always coming up with new ideas excitement there's a lot of excitement but also remember you have got the power to know what is the right thing to do whether to leave or to stay ultimately what you need to know that you are empowered and you are going to be very happy 
So that's what matters. At the end of the day, you are destined for a lot of fulfillment. Whether it's going to be leaving a situation, destiny is on your side and it's going to take you and give you the clarity to move forward to a better position in life with someone much better for you, someone that appreciates you more, someone that you are on a high level connected with spiritually, romantically and emotionally. So that's what we're talking about. This is amazing. Do let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up and let me know what you feel. Sharing your information, like share, not information, your comments, letting me know, it helps me big time to understand what's going on and what's what, especially about the signs and the elements and uh, what I'm seeing here and, and the way I'm interpreting it. I'd love to hear from you in regard to that. I wish you abundance of blessings, love, light, joy in everything you do. And namaste.